Meeting the March 21st regular meeting of the County Commissioners. Commissioner Kodich, can you lead us in the invocation of the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and thank you for our beautiful county. As we gather during this 4 H week, we thank you for the opportunities it brings, for the growth, learning, and friendships, for the values instilled, and the skills honed. Bless all those involved in 4 H, from the youth who eagerly learn and lead, to the volunteers who generously give of their time, and the supporters who enable their, this invaluable work. Also today, we note with gratitude and reverence the courage of those who served in Vietnam for the sacrifices made, both seen and unseen. May we remember their valor and dedication and their resilience in the face of adversity. Grant them peace and healing, O Lord, for the burdens they carry and the wounds they bore. May their service never be forgotten and their valor forever honored. Bless all Vietnam veterans and grant them your eternal grace. In your name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first uh, item of business. Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of March 7th. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Minutes are approved. Treasurer's report, Ms. Griffith. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the following were presented to the Treasurer's Office as paid for the period. <clears throat> Accounts payable, $836,601.90. Payroll was <coughs> 343000 Seven hundred, or sorry, for three hundred forty-three thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars and seventy-one cents. Nine-one-one account had six checks and three FTS for a total of one thousand three hundred nine dollars and nine cents. LEPC had a total of two checks for two thousand five hundred fifty-seven dollars and sixty-three cents. CDBG account had one check for fifty-five thousand. $638.05. Is there a motion to pay our bills? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, pay. Thank you. Treasury report for the period of 3 6 through 3 19 2024. General account starting balance was $2,144,029.69. Total debits were $1,245,964.29, giving us an ending balance in the general account of $2,209,916.37. And finally, capital reserve account has a balance for the period of $13,784,580.29. A motion to accept the treasurer's report. So moved. Second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, Ms. Griffin. Meetings in advance. Just let me note that uh, last week we had uh, entertained a uh, tour by the Cub Scouts, and I want to thank the Sheriff's Department for opening the courthouse after hours and the courts for allowing us into the courtroom. Offices upstairs and 911 uh, dispatchers, because we also toured that. And this is an open invitation from the commissioners that anybody, any group that wants a tour of the courthouse, whether it's during hours or after hours, please contact the commissioner's office. Meetings and events, Commissioner Weiss. Um, Chief Clark has a list of my meetings and events that I have, and also I'd like to just personally thank Vietnam veterans that are here. It's an honor to have you here. Kodish. I provided my list to the chief clerk as well, and I'd like to welcome Ava Liebegott and Zeta Fry from MCTV here today. Thanks for filming, and thanks for our 4 H folks and our Vietnam veterans for being here today. Okay, thank you. Any public comment? Any public comment? Hearing none or seeing none, we'll move on to new business. Proclamation that I will read for Pennsylvania 4 H week. Pennsylvania 4 H week proclamation. Whereas 4 H is the America's largest youth 
development organization supporting nearly 6 million youth across the country. And whereas 4-H has helped 279 youth in Mifflin County to become confident, independent, resilient, and compassionate leaders as they learn by doing. And whereas 4-H in Pennsylvania is delivered by the Penn State Cooperative Extension in rural areas, small towns, and cities in all 67 counties of the Commonwealth to more than 77,000 youth ages 5 to 18. And whereas 4-H youth in Pennsylvania are served by a network of staff members and more than 6,000 adult volunteers who engage and mentor youth in learning activities and hands-on projects in topics such as animal science, civic engagement, STEM, and health and wellness. And whereas Pennsylvania 4-H Week showcases the incredible ways that 4-H inspires kids to achieve and highlights the remarkable 4-H youth in Mifflin County to work every day to make a positive impact on those around them. And whereas 4-H's network provides youth with opportunities for leadership, development, career exploration, pro problem solving, friendships, community involvement, passion, and purpose. Now, therefore, we do hereby proclaim March 17th to the 23rd, 2024, as Pennsylvania 4-H week throughout Mifflin County, and encourage our citizens to acknowledge and celebrate 4-H for its valuable service and continued efforts to empower youth with the foundation of success for a lifetime. Commissioners Postal, Kodish, and Weiss. A motion to accept. So I second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, Commissioner Kodish, do you want to read that and then we'll all go outside for a photo? And read the next one? Sure. I don't know if you want them to comment. Good point for you. Thank you. I'm sorry to. Amy, would you like to? I was just jumping in. <laughs> So yes, Amy Spickler, uh, Assistant 4-H Educator for Mifflin and Juniata County 4-H. I'm here with my colleague, Emily Shoup. She is based in Juniata. I am based here in Mifflin County. As the proclamation stated, we had 279 active kids last year. Uh, right now our program enrollment is at 242. And I look to make that mark again this year at at least 280, if not more. We have 17 active clubs going on in the county, as well as 35 approved volunteers. So there is a lot of growth occurring in our county within the program, and I'm really excited to see where that's going to take all of us. Uh, if anyone has any interest in becoming involved with 4-H or wants to know more, please do reach out to the Extension Office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we will turn to the next proclamation. Okay, thank you. Proclamation Vietnam War Veterans Day, March 29th, 2024. Whereas, as we honor all the men and women who served in our nation's armed forces throughout history, Mifflin County is proud to join the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in the national commemoration of Vietnam War Veterans Day. And whereas this conflict defined an entire generation of Americans and numerous brave men and women served during the conflict, including 325,208 Pennsylvanians, of whom 3,147 Pennsylvanians were killed in action and 89 are still unaccounted for. And whereas, as citizens of Mifflin County, we must never forget the pain and suffering that lingers today for the men and women who fought with honor and distinction in the name of freedom and democracy for all. And whereas, we remember the men and women who so honorably served during more than a decade of fighting in, in challenging terrains of Southeast Asia, where they faced extraordinary and unprecedented dangers. We will never forget their sacrifice and we value their continued service to their fellow veterans today as they embody the motto of the Vietnam Veterans of America, never again will one generation of veterans abandon another. And whereas since their return, these veterans have contributed tremendously to their communities, the Commonwealth and the nation. They have displayed unparalleled support for those currently serving by providing welcoming celebrations for those returning and honors to those who have fallen. And whereas this, through this commemoration, the County of Mifflin and its Veteran Affairs Office join with all individuals of this great county, state, and nation to honor and remember our Vietnam veterans and their families for their courage, sacrifice, and valor. Therefore, the Board of Commissioners of Mifflin County 
We hereby join with the Commonwealth to proclaim March 29, 2024 as Vietnam Veterans Day. We encourage all citizens to participate in activities that bestow honor and commendation on American heroes past and present. Proclaim this 21st day of March, 2024. Mifflin County Commissioners Postal, Kodish, and Wise. I make a motion to approve this proclamation, Mr. Chairman. There we go. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have some votes here to take on the Would any veteran like to approach the podium? Will we just go out for a picture? Jimmy, did you like the same thing? Yeah, I'll say a words. Um, I'm, not, I'm never short on words. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'd like to thank the commissioners for, for this proclamation today. You know, a lot of veterans, when you speak to them, anytime you ask them, they say, I'd do it all again, all over again. One thing about Vietnam veterans is what I like to say is they were never welcomed home properly like they should have been. So, on behalf of uh, Mifflin County and Department of Veteran Affairs, I'd like to welcome you guys home. You guys sacrificed in many ways that many people don't know about. So, thank you very much. And this is a day well deserved. So, thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. Where was it held? Okay, we'll continue the meeting. Next on the agenda is the approval of the rec park and Vernon swimming pool donations. Earlier today, we distributed $5,000 checks to the two groups, but we do need an approval of that donation. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. D, request for exoneration of delinquent real estate taxes and relief Kathy Witzel of collecting these taxes, parcel number 14, and I don't know where that is, parcel 04, townships, but she knows. Is there a motion to exonerate? So moved. Second that. All those in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Request for adjustment of the 2023 county real estate taxes for parcel number 11010402 of $178.50 to be applied to delinquent taxes. House was demolished on the parcel. There a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. You're not, you're, not, you're not taking money off the of real estate. And both, lots of times, real loans are all separate and listed in the You have to go back. Uh, just a clear uh, F, offer for a parcel in Derry Township that's currently in the repository for unsold properties. The offer is $110. Is there a motion to either accept or reject? Motion to accept. Second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have an offer for a parcel. This is a mobile home only located in Derry Township that is currently in the repository for unsold properties. The offer is $400. Is there a motion to either accept or reject? Motion to accept. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The resolution number 33 of 2024, appointing planning director as certifying officer for the CDBG home program. Planning director Jim Latier, you want to brief us? Yeah, good, good morning. Uh, all this is is a uh, appointment of the planning director as for the certifying officer for all environmental reviews for all the federal money we received from DCD. And uh, basically, CDCOG will complete all the environmental reviews, and the certification will be completed by me, current planning director. And uh, that's it. Is this like, like annual, Jim, or is this like? Uh, this is uh, something new that CDCOG brought to our attention. Uh, I don't think we need to do it annually unless the position turns okay. over. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have appointments to the Mifflin County Human Services Advisory Board. According to the bylaws, there are agencies and there are out large representatives. There's a list here of three, six, nine, twelve, looks like thirteen. Um, I'm not going to read the list. I will make it part of the minutes. Is there a motion to approve and appoint these agencies and representatives? I make that move. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Motion carries. We have an award notification for the Criminal Justice Advisory Board Technical Grant. This award is $2,000. Uh, this award allows us, we get it every year, helps coordinate the CJAB meetings and allows for staff to apply for grants uh, for agencies and law enforcement grants who are part of the CJAB uh, group. Again, it's an annual award. We take a motion to approve the $2,000 notification. I make that motion. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. We have a reappointment 
to the Mifflin County Agricultural Land Preservation Board for three-year terms. Mr. John Massey, Dwight Yoder, Dan Dunmeyer, and Mark Ellinger. A motion to approve these three appointments. Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have an HVAC service agreement renewals with Controls Service and Engineering Company from New Cumberland for Mifflin County 911 sites for the period April 1st, 2024 through April 1st, 2025. These are four out of four towers. Uh, Allensville Tower is $982. Blue Mountain Tower is $1,811. Jackson Mountain Tower is $982. And New Lancaster Tower is 982. <laughs> there a motion to approve these service agreements. Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. There any opposed? Motion carries. We have a five year elevator service agreement with TK Elevator to maintain the county's seven elevators. It goes from year one for $16,071.72 to year five. $19,535.28. The escalators will be made part of the minutes. Is there a motion to approve? Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Be opposed. The next item on the agenda is going to be withdrawn. We will move to item O, purchase of service agreement with Caitlin taking fine for court law clerk at a rate of $27.16 per hour. A motion to approve is fine. Motion. Set. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have personnel items. Promotion of Jared Knight from part-time to full-time <coughs> corrections officer, effective March 10th, 2024. We have hiring of Lisa Hubler for part-time sheriff clerk, Effective March 22nd, 2024. We have the appointment of Vivian Kratzer for a volunteer in the Crime Victim Office. Effective March 15th, 2024. We have promotion of Joshua Pennebaker and Packer from part-time to full-time 911 telecommunicator. Effective April 1st, 2024. And we have the hiring, hiring of Jason Lear for a children and youth caseworker. Effective April 1st, 2024. There a motion to approve these personnel items. Motion. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Completed our agenda. Meeting is adjourned.